Especially, you got to have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's polished off by a Viking score. Forbath out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Cam's going to run the option right. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Here's Michael Pilardi now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, it, you do. It makes you, get, you hungrier. You get greedy in a good way. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Again, it's Cook. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Now Keenum. And he's able to find Diggs. Fights through and now a crease. A big play for the Vikings on third down. 65 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types. 
as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. And now a first down following that long gain. Give. This is Cook, able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. All right, here we go. 3 19. 3 19. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis it's the Vikings in possession of the football and the lead they'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four like this when the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, a, this is a quarterback the ball gets away from him everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense they're usually looking in the other direction downfield or have moved away from him in this case though a teammate is able to come up with the ball trying to lay one up deep it's caught in the end zone touchdown minnesota jarius white 31 yards and the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session. Will no, he? he was right there. They'll tell him, okay, of course you need to knock the ball away, but they won't be too upset with him. He did his job for the most part. 